So you're a skater, yeah? Yeah. What does what does it mean to be a skater? What does it you know what does it, how does it impact you? What skating actually means to me, it's like I'm being part of something that it's still growing in Zim and by the time it hits peak, I know that, you know, I'll be like one of the people that created the foundation of skating. You as a skater, how much, what, what does that, how does it mean? To be a skater, a statement. Well, mostly it feels cool to be a skater. Skating is real fun, like epic. So yeah, that's how I show being a skater. I stop the record like each beat like that. Boom, boom, boom. It's it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, when you're making a song, you know, I really chop it into little, 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 little pieces. You know what I'm saying? So I can do what I want with it, you know? They hear I'm definitely underrated in the shelf that's heavily gated. Time to escape and reach for the top, and I'm surprised I made it. I write the best when I'm aggravated. My flow is on my plate, I hate it. How to sleep it on me, they're all sedated in the zone. That's where my killer mode is activated. My heart is cold, and I'm told to keep it refrigerated. I'm blood thirsty like sharks in a reef. Stalk and it's walking the streets. When it's time for beef, then I shock the baby. On our way, Project Kick Flip. Project Kick Flip, today is phase one of the first shot. Uh, currently, we're on our way to go pick up Vincent right now. And we'll be on our way to go meet up with Skaters. And yeah, execute this thing so. Yeah. Oh. Jamais assez haut pour décrire comment l'homme tue l'homme et bousille son cerveau Comme Bonnie and Kyle, la seule issue c'était mourir Pour exterminer ce qui en lui le fait souffrir Dieu, parfois perd de vue une de ses brebis Où y a-t-il quelque chose dans le troupeau qui est pourri Si il est coupable alors vous l'êtes aussi Car les gens qui ne parlent pas, quelques témoins de tout ça Ne méritent que mes prix, probable que de vous il s'occupera Oui Colle en navire cool Les tu sans savoir pourquoi elle se perd dans la foule I started off with uh, a penny board, a blue penny board that I, that my cousin and he's like eight years old used to use. He never knew how to skate, so I was like, looking for a skateboard. I'm gonna steal. So I stole it, right? Then boom, I got these big wheels and uh, yeah, pretty much didn't know how to skate. So I just started skating in the house and until uh, Marcus, he gave me this, he sold me this wood for 10 bucks but it was weak it would like break with one ollie but then there was i i put the penny board wheels on those big trucks then i sold the penny board deck art gallery i met up with uh, austin and wayne they told me my first ollie and so that was like late last year till now and i'm growing so that's how i got into skating my inspiration of skaters well skaters that inspired me was growing up were obviously the great uh, almighty skating god Tony Hawk, um, Bob Bernquist, um, some Tom Shaw because he was a kid and I was a kid back then. So seeing as a fellow kid making to, making to the big league was something quite big and interesting. There are a lot of skaters, but they are the first ones that tend to come to my mind every single time. Someone asked me what got you into skating. What really inspired me to start skateboarding is uh, we used to play uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater this, this, this other game on PS2. You ever heard of it, right? So that, that's the thing, yes. That's the actual game that inspired me to start skateboarding. No. 
Actually, for me, it was a tree flip, you know, trying to tree flip while it's moving. You know, it's, it's really hard, so I had to try it uh, a couple of times till I get it. So at this moment, I actually try it and sometimes I land it, sometimes I don't. So it's actually a really tough trick to do. Um, the advice I can give to the young skateboarders in Zimbabwe is that um, the more time you, you spend on your skateboard, or uh, the, the more time you, you do anything with your board, be it like put it down or do a few pushes, roll around, anything you do like that is going to make you a better skateboarder in the end. Really, it's all about committing yourself to be so close to your board. I think that that can make you a better skateboarder in the end. And also try to, to have enough access to the media so that you can you can see how other skateboarders are, are doing around the world and what they have achieved in this skateboarding in this skateboarding culture. What I hope to achieve in Skate Zimbabwe, we hope to achieve something big. Uh, we hope to have like something like skate uh, shops, having skate parks, so we do our own things. Because like it's real hard in Zimbabwe that we get like skate stuff and other stuff. When I head up, when I reach the higher places, when I be like the brand or the organization that will be named for for the best skate sessions or the best skate stuff. So we hope to, to be something big. And uh, with the skate kids, we hope like when I tour around Zimbabwe, when I go every place in Zimbabwe, we wanna leave our name everywhere in Zimbabwe. Uh, Tim, when I started my fashion brand, I had to make sure like I needed to be involved in you know, the skating scene, dude, because it's crazy what's going on and people are not really realizing how how phenomenal like it, it is because it's not documented. There's a lot of skaters in Zim and a lot of brands that are coming up that are also representing their culture. And for corrupt and for domain, it's, it's essential. That's why even when we're making our clothing, we're always looking at like comfortability. You know, for like skaters, they need like movement. So you need to look at function, like the function of your brand, the function of your clothing. Like what's actually being worn by skaters. The skating, it's a sport. The movement and just like the direction I'm trying to take my brand is as well to represent every part of the culture that we have right now in Zim. The skating, there's a lot of like, there's artists, there's, there's, there's musicians. You know, there's a lot of things that are happening. So my brand needs to represent all that so that everyone can just build each other up because it's a community at the end of the day. It's a family. You know, so we really need to be there for each other, support each other. In terms of like skating, in terms of like fashion, these things like 
they coexist. People need to really dive into the culture that Zim has of skaters. The next 10 years are gonna be essential, are gonna be crucial to that move. Like we're growing up, bro. And what we're doing right now is, is for the people that are looking up to us like, yo, what are they doing? How are we gonna change? What, how are we gonna improve at least what they've done? So we're doing it for the kids. It's something I just do, mainly because I, I love it, it's fun. I love skating with my homies a lot. I love my homies a lot, but you know, some, some days you just want to skate alone. And I think that's the one thing about skateboard. It's not like, oh, I'm a skater, it's just part of my lifestyle. You know, when you start skating, you just like see the world differently and shit like that. Like the, the Olympics is a big thing, but I don't really give a fuck about the Olympics like that. Because regardless of like, I know it was uh, Brandon Valjalo, big shout out to him being in the Olympics and all. But like, you think that they do something big for uh, skateboarding in SA, but like, I feel like they just taking it for granted. And they just want to like, have one, not one person, but like, they just want to have that little moment to shine and that's it. But in regards to skateboarding in SA, I, w I feel like it could be bigger than it already is. It's going in a good direction. I just think we need more people that are actually gonna put in work for it. And like people that actually give a lot of people, you know, there'll be like a whole lot of organizations that will sponsor skateboarding, but like they're not putting in work. You know, even this park right here, it's sick and all, but if they actually got skaters to um uh they got skaters to design and actually like us what the skaters want i feel like it would have been much better a lot of money would have been saved i feel as if uh skateboarding could be big it will be big but we just need homies and put in work and actually care about what skateboarders want and ask them be hands on with this shit. i think it's actually quite sick See, because I know how it feels like to like grow up from nothing, you know. It was hard for me to skate. I just, like uh, get a skateboard alone. 
I remember in high school I'd sell lollipops <laughs> just to get a skateboard. So I just say like, just keep on pushing, you know. Bro, you could be 20 years old and a lot of people think you're old at that age and you're still young. Just do what you want to do. For real, if you love skateboarding, then everything will work out on its own. Like, it doesn't matter. You know, you'll find homies, you'll find people to skate with. And just like, really, it's all about confidence at the end of the day. Like, you have to believe in yourself more than you believe in your favorite skater or more than you believe in someone else. Like, you have to believe in yourself more than anyone else. Like, for real, like, that's all I got to say to the homies that side. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. to me it means literally escaping from the reality that you're living in you feel good when you skate you forget about everything skating makes you feel reborn again all i'll say to them is go for it you can live your entire life fearing something instead of fearing not doing that thing first i was like oh i can't skate i'm a girl but then girls can do anything it's that simple you can do anything despite gender age it doesn't matter you can skate anytime, just as long as you have a passion for it, don't give up, love it. If we live in your boy can do it, why can't I? So you should definitely go for skating and trying out. It is so lit. Expectations for the for the documentary. That it'll shed a little bit more light on, you know, skating and what the community and what the skate community is. Hopefully what comes out of it is a growth in the skate community. It's been kind of struggling staying afloat and stuff like that because some skaters have been there, some have left. I used to skate with guys when I actually moved back into moved back to Alare. I was skating with um, I think about 10, 10 guys who just who aren't around anymore. Some have moved, some have uh, died, you know. But yeah, hopefully and the result of the documentary is going to be an actual, maybe not an explosion, but like a natural sort of growth or something because everyone's seeing it and knowing that it, it actually exists to, to the kids and anyone really. Um, the kids, just try it. They'll have fun. You'll fall a bunch of times. I'm still falling. I'm still getting hit. I, I'm on injury right now, but you know, I won't stop. Uh, so you will keep falling, but with every fall, you know, you learn something new, you learn how to do other things and you get to a point where you are impressed by yourself. Even if you skate alone, you just feel accomplished in a way. And if it doesn't work for you, it's fine. If it works for you, you've found, you found one way to release. And I mean, anyone who's not a kid, this is still a fair game for everyone. They'll start playing video games at the age of 50 and it'll make sense still. <laughs> Just like with skating. It's an output for, you know, it's a way of life. However you want to think of it. If you want to make it a sport, you can make it a sport. Make money out of it. Be like Niger Houston or something, you know. 
or just be cool like um, like uh, my favorite skater. <laughs> Confused why I'm forgetting his name now. Half them. That dude, probably one of the, one of my favorite skaters. Who's like, he skates for the love of it. I mean, yeah, there's money in it, but for him, I think he just skates for the love of it. And you can you can tell with the way he skates. So you know, like Nike always says, <laughs> just do it. Don't enjoy it for all of life.